Passive Aggressive Tutorials. Hello, welcome to Passive Aggressive Tutorials. I'm Deva Dalporto. Today I'm going to teach you how to not be a total selfish jerk in the school drop off lane. This tutorial is particularly helpful for those parents who think that they are the only people on the planet and that their precious little snowflake is the only child who matters. This may come as a shock, but there are other students at your child's school who have to get to class just like yours does. So when you block the entire road and prevent other kids from entering the campus, that's a problem a really big problem. But as with all problems, there's a solution. So here's how not to be a total mother trucker in the drop-off lane. First, pull over when letting your kids out of the car. Pull over to the curb. That's the side of the road with the little ledge on it. Do not, I repeat, do not stop in the middle of the freaking road and let your kid out. First of all, that's dangerous. And second, it's rude, and I don't mean pull the front of your car over and leave the back to block everyone else. Pull all the way over, parallel, so you don't block the entire street. Because again, newsflash, you aren't the only person on earth. Second, make sure your kid puts on their shoes, stuffs all their papers into their backpack, grabs their lunchbox, et cetera, et cetera, before you pull over. Please don't sit there while your kid rearranges his entire life. There are hundreds of other kids that need to get dropped off. And when your kid takes 45 minutes to get out of the dang car, it sucks. Third, say your goodbyes and kisses and have a good day, sweeties, quickly. You are dropping your kid off for a mere six hours. You don't need a six hour goodbye. Fourth, stay in your darn car. You don't need to open the door for your kid. You aren't a chauffeur, even if you feel like one most days. Your kid can open and shut the door on his own. Life skills, people. And do not, under any circumstances, get out of your car and walk your kid into school. I'm fine if you want to get your kid safely to the classroom door, but then park your car where it's supposed to be parked and don't abandon it in the dang drop-off lane. Fifth, do not chat with your mom friends. This might be the most egregious sin of all. Nothing makes me want to kick a mom in her yoga pant clad butt more than seeing her lean into a car and chat at the window of a fellow mom during drop off. You are holding up the line, ladies. I know we all need mom friends. I know, but that's what texting is for. And speaking of texting, do not text or surf the web or check your email when you're dropping your kid off. Just let him out and move along. Move along, move along. Because contrary to what you may believe, the school drop off lane is not your private driveway. And that's it. If you follow these simple rules, people won't hate your guts. You're welcome.